So we're on a walk to stalk a tree. To stalk several trees, in fact. And there are a couple of massive examples right in front of me. I don't actually think these ones are very old. They're just gnarled. There's a sweet chestnut tree avenue. in the park where some of these old trees stand and where many more recent ones have been planted they have huge hollowed out trunks they're still producing chestnuts and it won't be long before people come and harvest them. This one I'm standing by probably takes a good few seconds to walk around. Seventeen paces indeed. It has a tag number on it zero two two one eight and cobweb all over it. This is probably not the finest example, but I think it makes a good start. And it appears to be home to a couple of roosting pigeons. Thank you for listening. The Sweet Chestnuts of Greenwich Park were believed to have been planted in the 1660s, making them amongst the oldest planted park trees in London. This was when Charles II wanted a formal French design for Greenwich Park. Although not a native tree, the Sweet Chestnut is naturalised, being able to grow from seed within the UK and has become part of the ecosystem, with many species of invertebrate, fungi, bird, bat, moss and lichen living on the tree. It was believed to have been introduced by the Romans, although recent research has indicated that the tree itself may have been in the UK for much longer, although the oldest trees are only believed to be around four to 600 years old. They were quite important to the Romans as the chestnut, the seed from a sweet chestnut, was milled down to create flour, using, well, creating flatbreads and such. Greenwich Park and the sweet chestnuts are somewhat unusual for London in that the dominant tree characteristic are sweet chestnuts as opposed to lime, horse chestnut or London plain, giving Greenwich Park a very distinctive landscape feel.